Hello, in this video we'll be looking at finding the volume of a flask dam with a rectangular pilanidulated base. So, we know that a flask dam is a shape which is cut then gotten from a full shape. Therefore, without wasting much of the time, I'm previously tutor. And I will be showing you how you can find the volume of a flask dam. Remember, this card is six marks at the exams. So I'll show you four steps, easy and which you can use. Step one, we need to write a full uh, rectangular pyramid in the in, in the diagram. This the one which will be given. So. If you look at it properly, you are having something like this. Then with those dotted ones, like that. Therefore, if you want to complete to draw this, you need to draw it like that. So it becomes a complete uh, pyramid. Now from there you'll be able to know that you've, you have two pyramids. So you have two pyramids. You have the smaller one which is ending here. And the bigger one which is starting from here coming here. So in short I'm saying you have two pyramids. The smaller one and the bigger one. So you have the bigger one in this form sorry so I'll extend it there so you have a bigger one like that then you also have a smaller one you also have a smaller one like this like that now and remember this flash down it is a cut from there to there. That's the bottom which you have there. Whatever remains down there. Now, we know that the bigger pyramid has a width of 10 and the length of 14. While the smaller one has got a width of 4 and the length of 8. So from there, we'll be able to Calculate properly. Now they are saying, given that the flat the the, the flat time has got a height of eleven point four, so the height is eleven point four. So we can say from there up to here it's eleven point four. But we don't know the full height from there up to the far end. So we can put x there. Now this same height is the same which is here, x. So using similarity principles, we are saying this height is similar to this height and this base, you can pick any, they are similar like that. So we can say x plus 11.4 is in the same ratio as x, which is equal to, so we can get 8 and 14 or we can get 10 and 4, which either. So I'll get 10. And four. And from there I'll be able to find the value of x. So I know that this is the same as x plus one eleven point four over x, which is the same as ten over four. So I'll be able to calculate and find the value of x. So when you cross multiply there, you are having 4x 
plus 11.4 times 4, you're having 45.6, which is equal to 10x. So when you collect the like terms, you're going to have 10x minus 4x is equal to 45.6. So, we're going to remain with, so I can lab this. So, you are going to remain with 6x is equal to 45.6 over 6. Over 6, we're saying x is equal to by, by 6, it's equal to 7.6. So, let me just write this properly. So, I'm saying 6x is equal to 45.6. So, over 6, over 6, I'm saying x is equal to 7.6 centimeters. You found the value of x. That means the height for the bigger uh Pyramid is now 7.6 plus 11.4. So plus 11.4, which is 19. And the height for the smaller pyramid is just 7.6. Now we know with the way forward. Now we need to find the volume for the... Uh, for the bigger flat time and the volume for the smaller, so the volume for the bigger pyramid and the volume for the smaller pyramid, then we subtract. So step two, we are finding the volume for the bigger pyramid. How do you find the volume for a rectangular? Now we know, we know that volume for a, a rectangular pyramid is 1 over 3 H B i so we have everything height so we say 1 over 3 times height we are saying is 19 the base is 14 and the width is 10 so from there we can say 19 times 14 times 10 divided by 3 and we're having 8 Eight six point six seven centimeters cubed to two the decimal places. Then in stage three, we need to find the volume for the smaller uh, pyramid, which is also this H B I, and we are saying instead of height is seven point six, and the base we have is there for the smaller one, which is eight times and the width is actually 4 so from there we are saying it is 7.6 times 8 times 4 divided by 3 which is 81.07 cubic centimeters then we can now come to our final step and say this is the uh, step 4 so to find the volume of a flat term, we are removing the volume for a small pyramid from the volume of a bigger pyramid. So we are saying 88, 6.67 minus 81.07. So 88, 6.67 minus 81.07, which is 805. Point six centimeter cubed, and that is how you find the volume of a flask dam using those four simple steps. Step one: find the missing height. That same height, it will be the same height for the smaller one. Then, if you want to find the height for the bigger one, you add 
the previous height which has been given which is 11.4 plus the new height which is 7.6 giving you 19. Step 2 find the volume of a bigger flaster sorry the bigger pyramid using one third of height base and width. Step 3 find the volume for the smaller pyramid one third of height base and width. Step 4 subtract the two that gives you the volume for the flaster. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video on PVS the tutor.